Yep. Back out. This time, I don't know, I'm here. Bit enough more than I can chew, I think. I'm in a place called the Lake District. You might have heard of it. It's pretty, like. Over there, there's cat bells. And all sorts of places. I think something wrong with the settings on this camera. I'll have to check it. Look how light it is, it's like washed out. I'm going up there, on a path there. Anybody who's been up Hallin Fell, that is steeper than the steep part of Hallin Fell. And there's about a mile of it. I'll just come up that bit there. Which is like a mini Hallin Fell. Oh god, it's steep. Especially carrying this good big pack. Anyway, I'm gonna press on, see where I end up. No rain, wind is light, but it's uh, nice and sunny. It's about 12 degrees. Unbelievable change in weather. Anyway, push on. Yeah, these settings definitely aren't right. Right. That's better than it. I had the um, manual setting on. I was doing some photographs with it the other week. Never changed it back. This is the Derwent Water. This is where I've come from, right there. I'm on that steep bit I was on about. I think it's a zigzag path, which helps, but whew, it's a long way. Hard one, this. Over there, some of them. I know the names of them, but I can't remember. Like um, Grisdale Pike, I think is the, the big one over there somewhere, I don't know. I uh, can't really make out what they are. It's been a long time since they've been over here. Ooh, I just sat in for five minutes, absolutely knackered. Going up there. I'm heading to a little hill, a little place called Carlside and Ullock Pike. Decide whatever the best pitch which one to go on. I was going to think about going up Skidder, but I've seen videos and it's rocky up there. It's a bit windy here now, so I think it'll be wild up there. Plus, and this is the main reason, my knees are hurting. My left knee's hurting. I think I am. Um, pushed it too far when I put my bag on. I put all my weight on my left leg. It's not the best idea. It's a certain bit. See how I feel when I get up. But Carlside or Ullock Pike is the, the first initiative. That's Skiddo up there. That's a little man. Skiddo's to the back and it's higher. It's higher again. It's huge Skiddo. And this one up here, Carlside, 740 metres or so. It's a couple of thousand feet in it. Yeah, we'll see. See how we get on, see how my leg is. I've had some paracetamol, so maybe I'll read. Slow and steady. Oof. That's the mighty skiddo, or skidder, as they say around here. That's broad end with the snow on it. And that's a little man. Skiddo, little man. That's a little like over 3,000 feet there. I think I'm only at 2,000 odd. Wind's picked up. Look at this view though. Look at this view. You know what it's all about. I'm going to cross to the west coast, Irish Sea. The sun's blazing like, but it's that wind, a bit chilly. So I'm going to go up here, a little bit here. By God, it's been steep though. That's one of the steepest walks out down that path just before you come. That's where it levels off a bit here. But before that, it's woof. It's like a blooming vertical wall. Oh, it's hard. My knee's all right at the minute. Paracetamol's kicked in. 
so I'm gonna just plod on and uh, hopefully hopefully find a good spot yeah can't believe this weather hard walk with a big backpack. It's hard enough without one. I've done this walk a few times, I knew what to expect. It doesn't get any easier. Right. It's not long after that last bit, that's call side, that's the top of call side. It's a bit underwhelming, like I just come up at the top and I'm thinking, oh, this is it. just leveled off. That's the path up to Skiddo. Uh, that. That is a leg breaker, that. Somebody coming down. There's another one to the other side. Which I think that will kill you, like. Right, that one. Somebody they've made that because that wasn't there last time I come here. That's awful, lad. That's another thousand feet from where I am. I haven't got energy or the knee capabilities. So, call side. I'm gonna head over there. That's Ullock Pike. Ullock Pike. Like Bullock without the B. The Solway Firth over there in the distance. It's a bit hazy like. It's not really clear. I'll do some uh, steadier shots later on. Once I find a pitch. We'll see what it's like over here. I just wanna get a good view of the sunset. That's all I want really. I'll push on here. Oh look, Pike. Been here before as well, years ago. Must be over five years since I came here. Never changes like. Oh. What a trek. With the big pack on anyway. It looks alright from here, like that path looks okay so far along. And then it just goes boosh up dead steep right at the end. That, that would be the bit that killed me. Could do that first bit before I don't know about the rest. Anyway, I'm on long side at the minute, long side it's called. It's a kind of uh, drop over there, like I want it to fall down there. Look at those flanks. Over there, and now hills over there, Dumfries and Galloway is the ratchets. They're out, out and about. So, hi ratchets. Hope to see you soon. This is uh, Ullock Pike there, that, that one. Ullock Pike. So, I think I remember Man Camper 66 saying something about how his family were called Ullock or something like that, I don't know. Put in the, put in the comments, Paul, I, I can't remember what you said, but I remember it being about Ullock Pike. Anyway, I'm gonna walk along that ridge. I'm gonna go along the ridge to it. And if there's a pitch on the top, I will pitch there. You get the views over there. But if not, I've got a good spot here. I'll just pitch here. That's flat enough, that like. So there he here's flat enough. So I mean, I'd rather, I'd rather get on onto the actual named fell top lake, but I don't suppose it matters. Uh, the wind stopped as well. It's just an amazing, amazing views. Just come up here for a day walk. This will be one for Alan Metal Man. This will be one for you to come up. Ullock Pike, Carl Side, Ullock Pike. Skid over if you're feeling fit. You go up to Carl Side up there. Walk along the Ullock Pike behind us and walk back along that little bottom path here. And then up the side of Skiddo. Top of it there. Walk back along. Down Broad End. And then on the skid all little man. And then you come back and then down here and then back down. That's a good walk. And if you want to add it in, this this is a walk I did once. And we met a long time ago, seven years ago. We we incorporated Dodd, that's Dodd. Which is an amazing little fell. It's like a, a path path winds around the mountain. But we cocked up, we didn't we went off the path to get to it. So we went down there, and we just pitched down the side here. <laughs> we ended up on backsides off the way, 
and then we went all, climbed all the way back through the trees. But there is a path, you've just got to find it. I didn't have view range on them days. What a carry on that was. I think we walked about 10 miles that day, we were absolutely shattered when we got back. I was a lot fitter then. All right, I'm gonna go along this ridge, see what, uh, see what the top of it all look pikes like. If not, we'll come back here. Oh, what a day, what a lovely day. It's been long overdue with this. That's where I'm walking along this ridge. Little point of interest, Bassenthwaite Lake. Which people, argumentative people, will say otherwise, but that is the only actual true lake in the Lake District, Bassenthwaite Lake. All the rest are waters, mares, um, uh, Grassmere, Coniston Water, um, what's, the, what's the other ones? Olds Water, Blimmin' Buttermere, but that's the only lake, Bassenthwaite Lake. So we'll take that on to your next quiz show programme. Good fishing in there. Lad jogging there, fell runner. Just had a chat with him. If you do find me channel, you didn't leave your name. Nice to meet you, nice lad. Hardcore. He was he was here about less than five minutes ago. He was just stood beside us talking. Now look where he is. He's got a nice little dog with him. Look where he is. Five minutes ago he was here. It's ridiculous. <laughs> He's a fit lad, him. Anyway. Oh, I've got to set up that skid over there. Yeah, I've got a better view here. I'll show you the view. That's the Scotland, Dumfries and Galloway, Solway Firth over there. This is uh, Bass and Thwaite Lake, at the end of it. Well, it's actually the full thing, so yeah. Let me view there, like it's the sun going down. Court and it's a bit chilly. Once the sun starts going down, and the chill gets you. I'm just set up here, just here. It's a heck of a spot. I'll just stop the camera, change cameras. Oh, right, I'm back. I've set me uh, GoPro away, time lapse, just so I can come and have a look at this. I pass into the bed, doing water there. That's where I'm pitched. The camera just above the tent. There's somebody coming along on a bike now, man. What's going on? These people are mad. <laughs> Is he on a bike? Let's see him up on top of that. Oh no. Oh, there's another fell runner. Fellow fell runner. <laughs> They're keen like if we're in jogging around here. Only problem with this, but location of pitched here. If I go and walking in the middle of the night, I could end up in a world of hurt. Quite precarious. It's a long way down there. Long way down. Quick way down. Alright, I'm gonna finish setting up. Looks like it's on the blooming tilt that tent. It's our eating side like it's flat enough. I've been in line down. It's getting cold. My temperature's going. Let's walk in front of me time lapse. Good one. There you go. Here's me, which I've had to put the door this side like because that wind was coming from the west straight in. It's alright, I don't think I'll be spending much time in the tent for a change. That's it. Just gonna watch the sun go down. Six, ten past six now. Got Craig Charles is sat there. 
ready. Works the radio up here, so that's good. Got uh, mixed internet signal. Keep an eye on the weather or not, but it's uh, looking good, the weather. Christ, it's a busy road. There's a helicopter down there. Right, I'm gonna crack on, finish this. I'm just sitting watching this. <laughs> Listening to Craig Charles. It's just been a lass on a bike come past. She's made us take a million photos. Action photos. She's like, get us when I'm going past. Get the sun in the background. <laughs> come up on a bike, man. What are they thinking? Look at that sun. It's just going to dip into the scene and the weather's going to go cold. Uh, well, it's a good night. I'm pitched here. I've got some nice beers to show. Sure. I'm not going to do reviews because I think people get fed up with reviews. Right? Beaver Town double chin. <laughs> Double neck oil, Hop City. That's a killer. That's D D I P double I P. That's eight percent. This one's called Wild Weather Ales. I thought I'd get that. It was uh, very appropriate. Wild Weather. Colour of Desire Oatmeal. It's supposed to be rhubarb flavour. And that one's a Brewdog collaboration. Kamikaze Knitting Club. Kamikaze Knitting Club. You know. I mean. You know. Let's just knock him off a minute, wait a minute. Get that off because of the copyright laws. Aye, just a young, just a young lass come on a, on a bike. She says I've been, she says she rode, rode a bike up there, up the back of Skidall, went on the top of it, came down that path down the side that I was pointing out earlier, over this ridge, all the way around here, and she just came, stopped then, she's taking GoPro footage of the sun, and then she roped us in to take photos of her, like, pedalling off, <laughs> taking action shots, and what am I doing? God, she looked a bit fouty, and she says, oh, I sometimes go well camping with me four-year-old. I thought, Christ, this was Ben when you were ten. Anyway. Oh, it's getting cold now, like, put my fleece on and my, uh, my new coat. It's going to this coat and it's never rained, so I thought it would be raining today. I'm not, not, not complaining, really. Not having it. Cooking time, and we are having fill-off steak, mushrooms, beer. It is now, what's it, minus 1.5, so it is cold, oh, you can't see nothing over there, there's a few lights in the distance, there's some stars out, so I'm going to um, set my night laps up, but whether it will be any good or not, because there's a little, there's a half moon, we'll see anyway, we're going to try it, I'm going to, Oh, I'm starving now, like, just want to warm up. Right, not too much cooking. Absolutely perfect. That steak there just fell apart. Oh, I'm going to chin the lot. I'm going to chin all the beer. I'm going to chin everything. And then I'm going to get out and do a, a night lapse of the stars. See how this shine for you. 
and everything you do. Because they're all yellow. Ooh. Not working. Needs a tripod. Right, I'm gonna get this down me gizzard. Oh, oh bright that light. God, I'm just having me um, fourth beer. Nice Wylam. Wylam, I've had this one before, like. I've got plenty of hiccups. Us and them, I've had that before. But this one, this last one, Hop City. That's gonna finish us off, that, like. That's a double as well. Wylam's a double. Hop City's a double. And I've just had a double beaver town. I'm absolutely don't know what I'm doing. <coughs> anyway, I'm gonna uh, pack in for now. Like I put my GoPro out about an hour ago, and it said it had um, it, it had one bar on the battery. It's still going. So I don't know. But I'm looking for a new uh, a new. Um, editing thing for the bloody night lapse because the GoPro Studio was on my laptop, but I, I had to set, I had to reset my laptop to you know when you do that um, reset point because something went wrong with it. I got a I got a bug in it or something. So I wiped the bloody GoPro Studio off. And when I try to put it back on, they don't do it anymore. It, it doesn't exist. So it's that GoPro Quick. Which is absolutely crap. You can put the you can put the videos on like all your photos with this with this hero black the hero four black. It, it's like all a sequence of photographs. It's not a video, which would be a lot easier. Um, it's all a sequence of photographs, so it's like old fashioned style. So you put all the photographs into a file, and then you've got to convert them. On this on GoPro Studio, it was fine. You could do it, but on this quick. I can't get my head around it like it doesn't make sense and then when you click on something it's like oh it's not responding or it crashes it's absolutely shit like GoPro need to sort that out it's it's rubbish I don't know if it's my computer or my laptop or whatever but it's absolute rubbish anyway so any suggestions on how to um, convert the night lapse would be more than welcome what, what happens is it's a series of photographs so it's just to be clear, it's single photographs in the, it's like, a f I've, well at the minute I've got on a 15 second interval because it's quite, there's a bright moon out there. I don't know if I've got on a 30 second or 20, it just depends. I'll take a few little test shots just to see what the, what the light's like. And then you've got to convert it, so you've got to stitch them all together, convert it into a video. And then, and then I'm having to speed it up on Windows Movie Maker and it, it just takes forever, like. I think all the photographs it, it comes out as like an 18 minute 18 minute clip so that takes so long to process and then you've got a uh, it's a right faff anyway I'm uh, I'm waffling I was just looking at some videos the other day I've been watching I've been watching loads of videos I don't always comment I don't always comment on the videos I think I think your comments are like Oh, great video, love it, love it, and great, you know what I mean? It's always the same, isn't it? I mean, I, I don't know. If you don't want to comment on my videos, that's fine. I get, I get a lot of views. I don't get, I don't get like as many comments as I get views. It's nice to have the comments, mind. It's nice to hear what people say. It's nice to keep in touch with people as well. But I, I watch loads of videos. Like I watch, um, I watch Alan Metal Man. Shouldn't do the horns. I watch um, Gareth and Zoe, um, Gun for a Ratch, Renegade Scott, Scott's Wild Company. Loads, loads of them, loads. Like the Northern Wayfarer, Bushy Johnson, Man Camper. Oh, I think Man Camper's videos are good. Like, I recommend Man Camper 66. Like, his videos are class. He's not been out for a while. Like, get yourself out. You know, it makes sense. Um, but yeah, I don't always comment, so don't take offence if I don't comment. It's just me thing. 
but that, I do watch them. I do watch a lot of videos though. Oh, just thought I'd put that out. Anyway, right, that's the beer. The music's on. I've just had another shout out of Tom Robinson. Quarter past nine. It's now minus 1.4. Got down to minus three before. It's sort of like warmed up a bit. Uh, I'll have another beer and then I've got to get my head down. I've got to be away early in the morning because I'm right on the path. You see, a couple of people came up when I set up. That's how busy this place is. Usual disaster area. Pillows working well. This pillow's lasted a lot longer than them nature hike ones. Everybody's buying the nature hike pillows. I've had about four of them and every one of them's let us down. Let itself down as well. X bed. I paid a bit extra for it. But I've had it a long time now when it's been spot on. That nature hike thing. Good, nice and comfortable, but it just don't last. I had my coat on, the windproof. I did eventually use it. Flip and bought this, bought this coat. All singing, all dancing. Come out in a solo camp, it's bloody, the weather's perfect. <laughs> it's typical. Um, I'm sure I'll get some rain, one point. Yeah, I've had my steak. Everything's tidied up and all the rest of it. <laughs> That's it, I've still got hiccups. No, unless anything really interesting happens, we'll bring you back in the morning. <clears throat> Put the night laps on now, if it works. Morning campers, hidey hi. I wonder if anybody shouted hoody ho back. <laughs> nice morning, crisp, I think they call it, frosty like. <sighs> Very frosty, cold night. I stayed in my down gear last night. Like. It's the uh, big cloud hanging over skid over there, blocking the sunrise. Shame, because it looks like it's risen. There's already been somebody up, look, he's up the top of there. Do you mean on the top of there? Oh, the clocks went forward, didn't they? So it's like, it's about quarter to eight now. But real life, it's only quarter to seven. Oh, it's cold. Ooh. Made a cup of coffee. Gonna have that. Them hills over there. Quite big. I the man's been hidden away by a cloud. Like mysterious island. Oh, it's too cold to stand up here. There's a very strange cloud hovering over there as well, look at that. What's that all about? <laughs> Alien craft in disguise, stealth mode. Well, it's really strange, isn't it? <clears throat> Clouds are fascinating, like. <sighs> right, I'm gonna have my coffee and then slow pack away. I thought I'd leave this place like. I could see me coming here again, but that walk up was hard, man. Oh, it's cold, right? I'm just about to gang. Pack my tent away. Well, that's the last thing to do. Bags packed. Look at this over here. It's a. Uh, it's a temperature inversion whereby the temperature above the clouds is higher which makes the clouds sink down low temperature inversion, not cloud inversion temperature 
It's like a blanket cover and that lot in there. Look at that. I've never seen this on a hike for a while. It's probably rolled over the top of it. It's just sitting on top of that lot there in that valley. Got a time lapse run, I don't think it'll be very long. Just want to get away because it's cold. <laughs> right, enough dilly dallying. I'm going to walk off into that. Christ, that way. Good job, it's, uh, it's easy enough. The path's quite clear. It'll be alright once you drop over the side. And if you don't know where you are or what you're doing, though, look at that. What would you do? Got to think of these things when you come out. GPS, map, compass, skills, knowledge. <laughs> Listen to me, the expert. <laughs> oh dear. Valley of death. Right. Well, at least I got some nice views out of this time. Rather than just blimmin' rain clouds. I'll crack on, I'm just going to clean the inside of this tent, a bit muddy. Right. And that is where I was pitched, right there. So anybody who watches my videos will know, never leave a trace. Only a coffin shaped trace. That mountain over there, I've just been reliably informed, is Criffle. Roger and Diane will probably know that one. Riffle. I've heard of it like. Alright, I'm gonna walk off. It's uh it's cheered up a bit. So that's it, I'm off. Hell of a walk down, dead steep. It's the the steepness when you're walking down, it's what knacks your legs. As you're putting all the all the weight goes on your, your front of your thighs like and I feel it in the morning. It packs a lot lighter now. I don't know how. Nothing to do with beer. <laughs> but I've also drank quite a bit of water as well. I brought water up because I knew there wasn't a source of beer. Oh dear. So, unless anything amazing happens, I think we'll just finish it there. There might be the odd little snippet afterwards. Look, there's Dodd. Dodd Forest. It's a quite an impressive little hill. It's 1,500 feet. I'm up high here, like I need to find out how high this is. Let's get off, still blanketed in cloud. Right, I'm gonna put this away and put my gloves on, because it's really chilly. Down. It took us an hour to get down, and that's coming down. I cannot believe how steep that was. I've been up some steep fells. I've even climbed this one before, but God, this back a backpack on. It's up that path there, and then it starts zigzagging up there, and then it's just boosh. It's relentless. But as you see, the views were worth it. Just took me time and got up. And now I'm back doing. Oh, coming down is hard. Legs are killing, aching, and all the jarring. Like it's tricky because the stones, the rocks, are a bit slippy. Polished rocks, no grip on them. 
So you've got to be careful where you put your feet. But that's it. This is the end of this video. Hopefully back out soon. Just leave you with a fuse. Oh, I can't believe how steep it was.